Hello, 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 hello. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. How are you doing? You're welcome to Across the Atlantic Ministry. It's a privilege to be here to share the beautiful gospel of Christ with you. For those who are new to this platform, you have not missed your road. You are in the right place. For those who have been keen followers of this platform, all I can say is God bless you. As you have consist consistently for, um, do the bidings of Christ by sharing, by listening. I see a lot of people, you know, who constantly share, you know, my contents um, on their stories. It is not basically a content for, uh, for, you know, whatever people describe as, what they describe content as, but it is evangelism. So if you are doing this, I want to assure you that you are also a part of the work of Christ. And I pray that as you do all of this, it will greatly bless you. You will greatly see the result of what it means to do um, the work of Christ. You are welcome once again. Um, we're taking a drive, so yes, you might there might be a bit of distraction, but regardless, pay attention to what um, God is saying to you today. Father Lord, as I share your word, I pray that your word becomes life. I pray that it becomes a seed in the heart of men. I pray that it becomes a stronghold and for everyone who encounters this, that from this moment they shall begin to experience a shift in, in their life, in their Christian life, in their Christian journey. And for those that are in that place of giving all to you, I pray that this message shall bring them back to that throne of mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. You're welcome to a new month. Today is the 4th of June. How has your month been? I hope you are doing the biddings of Christ. I hope you're walking in righteousness. Do not forget Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Make sure you walk in these three, um, in this tree, in these three legacies that Christ has created for us to make sure that whatever it is that the devil might have in plans for you, he will have no legality to pass out his judgment on your life in Jesus' name. Amen. So, what is my topic for today? It's a very brief one. Never the same again. Never the same again. If a person graduates, go through all the four or five years of university, the reason why is to be qualified in that specific um, course that they have studied. And then they will not be treated, when, when they get their certificate, they will not be treated as a 100 level student or a second 100 level student. They will be treated as what? Someone who has, you know, mastered whatever it is that they've studied. And then, after interviews or series of interviews, what happens is that they become employable. And then they can also then get trained up, you know, to, 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 to professionally also do that work in different areas of their life. What am I trying to explain is that when you decide to walk with Jesus, there are different phases you need to go to, go through and walk through so as to be regarded as a true Christian and as a righteous creation. And I'm not saying it's a one day job, but you need to understand the fact that one of the key things that make you become a vital you tool and vital utensil for Christ is by consecration, and this will take us to the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 5. And I'm just going to read verse, um, verse 17, which says, Therefore, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. I know a whole lot of people have you know encountered this Bible verse, I know a lot of people have read this, you've heard this in sermons, you've heard this. Maybe in Sunday fellowships, in house fellowships, in you know Sunday school. I mean, maybe people have maybe jeopardized the strength of what this means. That therefore, if a man be in Christ, he is a new, new. So it's not one leg in and one leg out. The reason why sometimes results are not gotten, you know, in in one in 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 walking with Christ on in journey of walking with Christ is that people want to compromise and when there's compromise in your journey what happens is that it's an half big result that is gotten because someone say oh i go to church every day 
but you know maybe at my job maybe i could lie a bit you know to make sure that things you know it's just trying to make ends meet oh yeah maybe i could get myself involved in some type of business you know it's not something that truly glorifies the name of god but at the end of the day you know um, everybody does it so you know i can do it i'm still a christian i still go to church i still read my bible you know i still do my morning devotion hmm. compromise it's like saying oh you know i'm going to i'm going to make a promise to making sure that i'm helping maybe people who are less privileged at the end of the day you know after i get this big business or after i get this big breakthrough and that breakthrough comes at the end of the day you don't keep to your promise or your vow it's like i really like that guy I really like that lady you know i think that we have great affection for ourselves you know he's a christian i met him in church i met her in church you know and maybe we can just spend some little time together you know just a time of intimacy you know it's just testing the waters hmm. what am i trying to say that if you are in christ you must be new that means you have to be ready to let go there is no compromise. What the devil takes advantage of itself is your compromise. The devil does not regard anything as a small sin. Oh, oh, maybe it's just today. And the funny thing about the devil is that most times he will not strike when you do it the first time. Once you leave that void for the devil to penetrate, saying, Oh, I will do this one, I will not do that one. The devil will let you linger, continue derive enough satisfaction so when it strikes it is fatal so if you've made that decision or you are on that bridge of making that decision of giving your life to Christ always take into existence that you are going to be new you cannot feel a new wine in an old, old, old wine skin it's going to be contaminated or adulterated so what you have to do is to first of all consecrate yourself in prayer in fasting in fellowship in the word so as to give no chance to distraction or give no chance to anything that will not glorify the name of God in your life and that's what the devil needs he needs the void he needs that laxity, he needs that lack of attitude. That's all he needs, and he would strike. And he will keep prompting. So always realize that when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. New. New. New is new. When you are going to purchase something, and there's a particular budget you create for it, and there's a particular budget you create for what is brand new. And what is fairly used you will realize that there's you know there's an apart when it comes to the price range so that also tells you that if something is new there's a price for it and that price has to be watered and one of that price is concentration and not compromising i carry on he said, all things are passed away, and that's the key word. You know, people keep on asking. And I, I know one day I'm going to address maybe my redemption story, because I know I always get messages, you know, your redemption story and everything. I know I've shared it in different if, you, if you've been following me for a long time, you have shared it in different ways, you know, in different of my messages. But the most important thing is all things. So what is old things? Those things that do not glorify the name of God. Sin. Sin is, out, is as old as man. Giving no chance to this flesh. The flesh will shout. It will cry. It will want its satisfaction. It is old as you can ever think of. And it will want to also you know, stand on its own, you know, whatever it is that the, 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 the flesh can hold on to as a, as a form of legality over your life. The flesh don't stop crying. The flesh will want what it wants. But it's not left for you to do what? To shut down the flesh. 
And how do you shut down the flesh? Tell me, how do you shut down the flesh? By staying in the presence of Christ. By staying in his presence. That is by seeking him in truth and in faith. All things must be passed away. So what are those old things in your life that you are still like, ah, I cannot let go. It's hard for me. There are so many things that I thought were hard for me that I couldn't let go of. Was it drinking? You know, was it woman womanizing? Was it um being stubborn for no reason? You know, there's so many things that the devil will let you understand that you cannot let go of it because you derive satisfaction but the only way I could build strength was constantly staying in the presence staying in his presence giving no chance giving no chance to the devil giving no void to the devil and I know we all have our excesses we all have our excesses we know those things that are in our closet no, this does not glorify the name of God and you feel really sober any time you get your hands involved in that sin Take note, all things must be passed away. That old you, that old self, that old bragging. Ah, do you know who I am? Do you know what I can do? Do you know what I represent? It has to be gone. And let me tell you one fact. The devil, he knows. He will try. He will keep trying. He will keep, he will bring out his many keys into that old life. And he will keep trying to see which one will open. And all the devil needs is just one key. So whatever is 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 that weakness whatever is is that is that channel or that gateway so what you know that ah when i get involved in this i might backslide it's time to start locking those keys with prayer with consecration speaking in the holy ghost you know genuinely going um, to, to 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 Christian fellowship that will, I mean the ones that you know glorifies the name of God by descending the right place to be at the right time doing the right thing by not giving your eyes to lust by not giving your eyes to the things of of the world or carnality how do I run this all up he said all things are passed away behold all things have become new God wants us to have a new life. Want to, he wants us to have a life in Christ. And a life in Christ is holiness. A life in Christ is purity. A life in Christ is filled with love. It's glory. It's grace. It's joyful. It's mercy. It's abundance. It's riches. It's plenty. And so, my brother, my sister, I know you are in that place of, okay, when would I let go of this one that has held me bound for a very really long time? I'm telling you that you first of you need to ask for the Holy Spirit, which is the one who will help you. There are places where you know, okay, I, I, I feel tired of praying. You ask the Holy Spirit to quicken your spirit. There are places where you know that, oh, ah, this is lost. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. In a place of prayer where you can, you know, give time to fire your spirit up. It could be through fasting. It could be through maybe seven days of constant prayer. It could be through retreating. He would help you. He's at back and he wants to help you. But he also needs you to stretch your hands forward to be helped. If a baby needs to get carried, most of the time, how do they express themselves? It's by crying. And raising their hands up maybe towards their guardian or their parents so they could get a lift up but if a baby just stays there and you know and just assumes and makes no statements or doesn't cry or doesn't lift their hand up for to be carried and how would the guardian or the parent know that they need that help so when you need that help all you have to do is to raise your hands give your heart give your heart to it Knowing that whenever I go, I must represent Jesus. Wherever I step my foot in, 
I must represent light. I must represent the way, the truth, and the light. And that is how you conquer the opposition of the devil. I pray that as you walk with Christ, that all things shall be passed away and behold you will be new. That everything that looks shattered, everything that represents sin in your life, from the moment you listen to this, from the moment you concentrate on this words, from the moment you decide to walk with Jesus, I pray that you experience, start begin to experience new things in your life, in every area of your life, in your business, in your family, in your marriage, in your career, in your home, in your in, in your office, everywhere that you set your foot upon, in your health, that behold, you shall begin to experience new things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Once again, this is Across the Atlantic Ministry. I hope you have a blessed, blessed month of June. Make sure you're not ashamed of Jesus. Tell people about him. If you are not ashamed of him, he also will not be ashamed of you. I wish you a blessed rest of the weekend. Shalom. Cheers.